Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It is Karen here with you today. Today I'm going to share with you a page that I'm creating in my small dilutions journal and I'm starting off by just adding in a layer of uh, gesso and my gesso is from Art Spectrum so it's actually quite a nice one. It's nice and white. I actually like it. So once I've got it dry I've picked out a few different colors here of paints. Now these are Adelia acrylic paints um the interactive acrylics i'm not quite sure what that means but you know the paint and they're nice and i like them so i've squished out a few colors and now i'm going to do something that i haven't done for a little while and that is blend my colors in together in the background to make a nice um painty background <laughs> Is that how you describe it? I don't know. Anyway, I like mixing the colours in together and seeing what other colours come up in between. So with the purple, like I had, like, no, it was green. And I mixed that in with the pink and I got a really nice dark purple. And now I've mixed some of the red in with some of the yellow and it's come out with a really nice orangey, reddy colour. And now mixing in the pink and the blues and, yeah, it's just fun. I just like it and you can just do it with your fingers like and it actually comes out better I think if you do it with your fingers like if you were to do this with a paintbrush it wouldn't look half as good I don't think so yeah you kind of got to use your fingers I mean you could use a blending tool maybe if you didn't want to use your fingers or a sponge but mm, I just like how using my fingers I can get a bit of transference of color from that's already on my finger with the next lot of paint that I happen to dip my finger into so yeah and now I'm just into the last bit of corner I'm getting some yummy purpley colors there happening and and what am, what am I going to do next oh I'm going to fit fix up the bit in the gutter of my book because I couldn't quite get in there I'm actually working in the back part of my book um, I have been working in the front but it's become a little bit full on that side so I've switched it around and started using the pages in the back to work back towards the middle and I've just got a little book under the back part to lift it up so um, it makes it a little bit more um, flat even for me so I've got a couple of dilution stencils there and all I'm doing is just mixing up those colours that I've already got on my palette there except for the green, the greeny one because I've added in a little bit of gold in there and oh my goodness that colour is divine. That green, those two greens mixed in with that bit of gold, yum, 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 yum. Okay so now I've got out some titanium white and a couple of um, dilution stamps and I'm going to do some stamping in my background here with just with some white paint. So I'm putting my paint onto a piece of cut and dry foam so I'm using the black side of the foam which is the hard side and um, putting that onto my um, stamp like you would ink from a stamp pad and then when I've finished you've got to make sure that you clean all the paint off your stamp so easy peasy um, the other thing I've got here is another dilution stamp but I'm stamping this one with just some black ink and before I move on I'm just going to make sure that it's dry by giving it a bit of a blast with my heat gun um, it's a little bit cold here in Tassie at the moment so and things are taking a long time to dry so I didn't want it to smudge so I've just give it a little bit of blast so now I've got out some of my dilutions die cuts collection what are they collage collective <laughs> no it's not collage collective that's that's Dina's it's just collage pieces and I've cut out a little bit from a magazine as well so the earrings and the um, big diamond so I've decided to give her a diamond handbag because why not wouldn't that be awesome if to, you know it'd be really heavy though to have a bag that big of a diamond anyway so I'm just using some Posca paint pens and adding in some details drawing a handle on my bag putting in um, the pupils of her eyes um, yeah changed her lip color there a little bit um, and what else am I gonna do 
Oh, I put some little gold dots on her eyelashes, on the end of her light eyelashes, because they were quite fat. So I thought that would look cool. And because the hat kind of looks like it's a vase, or three vases, I decided that I'd draw some leaves. So it kind of looks like she's got flowers coming out of the top of her head, but you can't see the flowers. So just finishing off with a little bit more pen. Now I've got a quote stamp here also from um, Dilutions and I'm going to stamp it out and it says I didn't get to be this fabulous overnight. So I thought that was pretty cool because I thought she looked pretty fabulous with her vase hat and a shoe coming out of her head and a massive diamond handbag. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just adding in some white highlights onto my leaves. A little bit there on her earrings. And that's it. Loads of fun. So I hope I have inspired you to get out your um, dilutions, bits and pieces and have a play. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.